Alright guys, I went into a video real quick. This is People magazine that got exclusive rights to this interview. So let's just go with, this is misspoken. Um, the Lambert attorney at the top, Kristen Shanann Watts, had a fight about his affair the night of her death, according to Stephen Lambert, a lawyer for the Watts family. Um, Lambert is actually the lawyer for um, Shanann's family. So that was incorrect. Shanann Watts had known about her husband, Chris Affair, prior to her death. A lawyer for the Watts family, Stephen Lambert, spoke with Dr. Phil McGraw in a pre-recorded interview during which Lambert shared new details of the murder of the pregnant Colorado mom and her daughter, Bella Four, and three-year-old Celeste. In a clip of the interview obtained exclusively by People, Lambert, who is representing Shanann's family in a wrongful death suit against Watts, recalls a fight between Chris and Shanann. In that fight, Chris essentially confessed to having an affair, that he wanted a divorce, that it was pretty much over between them. Lambert tells McGraw, Shanann said something to the effect of, well, you're not going to see the kids again. As a consequence of that conversation, he strangled her to death. Okay, guys, a normal person, when you're admitting an affair and this happens, we all know you say things, right? But we also know that we, we, we think logically to that effect. You're going to tell me I can't see my kids again? <laughs> okay. We'll just take that one to court. So right there shows you a psychopath that can only think that way. That set him off to that point. You're a liar because Discovery Files shows the evidence that this was premeditated. And I'm going to say it and say it and say it and say it. And say it again. This was premeditated. Her murder was premeditated. And I can't help but think the girl's murders were also premeditated because you're knowing you're going to kill the mother, have to dispose of her, and leave your three and four year old at home alone by themselves while you do that and go to work? No. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, guys. No. Not a loving father. They're not going to leave their kids by themselves at home like that. Okay? So he's a liar. We all knew he's a liar. He's called a pathological liar. Pathological liars believe the lies they tell. You know, I'd like to just really block out that face right there of his. So Lambert, let me get rid of this ad that pops up. Lambert also reveals that Chris and Shanann's eldest child witnessed their mother's murder. Bella walked in and asked, what are you doing with mommy? Lambert says, Want to keep up with the latest crime coverage? Click here to get breaking news. So after killing Shanann, Watts then smothered his two daughters. He then loaded their bodies into his truck and hid them on an oil work site where they were found three days later. In November, Watts pleaded guilty to all three killings. He is currently serving five life sentences without the possibility of parole. So let me repeat this one more time. After killing Shanann, Watts then smothered his two daughters. He then loaded their bodies into his truck and hid them at the place that we already know that he did, where they were found three days later. I was sent a very emotional letter, a touching letter that the person um, asked me not to show out of respect for the family. I will never show that letter. 
but that letter touched my heart beyond belief and I just want to say guys they had to witness these babies being in black garbage bags okay Shanann had to be wrapped in a sheet and the family witnessed this the children were not murdered at the oil site. So these are rumors and they have to be cleared up. And I'm, I'm going to try to clear this up again. Out of respect for her family, I am not going to show that letter. I don't have to show that letter. And I won't. But they also wanted that part to be clarified. Okay? They wanted a lot of things to be clarified. And I respect that. And I respect them. And I can't even imagine what they're going through right now. Having to hear these horrific details. Here we are, complete strangers, and we are mourning. I mean, I, I honestly feel the loss. Like I've lost a family member. Family members. And the world is mourning too. The world that has hearts are mourning. So the rumors that he did this at the that the oil site and that, you know, he the girls were alive when he took them out of the house. No, guys. That was shadows, okay? Those were shadows, Chris's shadows. And that was from the light that was on his garage. And and I'm not trying to, you know, tear down anybody that said that or thought that they seen that. Um, I'm just giving you facts, okay? This is a heartbreaking case, and like, like, just truly heartbreaking. So, can we all just give one minute of silence and prayer for this family right now that deserve this? Let us pray for them. Because right now, I don't understand how they can even be standing. Because me, I would be on my knees. I wouldn't be able to get back up. Not after losing my daughter and my granddaughters. Oh my God. My daughter is my life. My granddaughters are my life. They give me life. So let's all take a minute and let's remember them. Let's honor them. And let's pray for Frank, for Sandy, for little Frankie. Let's pray for all of their family and their friends. And let's just take this moment to really pray for them. Now I want to say a little prayer. Lord, I ask you to wrap your arms around Frank and Sandy and little Frankie and all of their family, all of their loved ones. And I ask you to hold them and hold them tight and give them strength. I ask you, God, to help them find some type of peace in all of this. Show them that she did not die in vain. Wrap them and show them peace, Lord Jesus. And I ask for you to cover them with your love, your compassion, and give them strength. Lord Jesus, give them strength. Amen.
Okay, right here, the same People magazine, a February 18th statement to people from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation says that authorities interviewed Christopher Watts for the purpose of developing further insight into the case. Watts provided investigators with additional information about the murders of Shanann, Bella, and Celeste during the interview. A spokeswoman from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation tells People the office plans to release more information on the case Thursday, adding that the office was taken by surprise by the Dr. Phil interview. Let's hear this again. A spokeswoman from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation tells People the office plans to release more information on the case Thursday, adding that the office was taken by surprise by the Dr. Phil interview. A spokesperson for the Wild County District Attorney's Office tells People the office is not releasing any more information on this case. Here we go. A spokesperson for the Weld County District Attorney's Office tells people the office is not releasing any more information on the case. All right, guys, this is telling me that they are probably going to um, deny our request. Gonna have to contact my lawyer on this now. Because this right here is telling me a spokeswoman from the Colorado, Colorado Bureau of Investigation tells People the office plans to release more information on the case Thursday. They plan to release more information on the case Thursday. Adding that the office was taken by surprise by the Dr. Phil interview. A spokesperson for the Weld County District Attorney's Office tells People the office is not releasing any more information on the case. So this Dr. Phil interview may be all that we're going to have. And this could be done out of respect for Shanann's family. Um, the public is getting what is called, you know, your, the public right to knowledge. Um, but also they are victims and they can withhold information. So it could be very gruesome and the family um, doing it this way on the Dr. Phil show wanted it this way done and we have to respect that. Now also, um, being that the district's attorney's office is telling people the office is not releasing any more information on the case, um, there's probably a lot of details that are so horrific and graphic that they're not releasing that. That could be that, or it can relate to this actual uh, release that they were supposed to be doing on the 7th. So now I'm a little confused and I'm gonna have to contact my attorney about this. So um, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, reading this part, what do you think this means? And um, you don't have to agree with what I'm saying, but this is what I'm taking from it. Because right here, CBI um, told people the office plans to release more information on the case Thursday. Adding that the office was taken by surprise by the Dr. Phil interview. Well, Thursday's the 7th, if I'm not mistaken. A spokesperson for the Weld County District Attorney's Office, which is the DA, tells people the office is not releasing any more information on the case. So you guys decide what you think that means. I think that's it. All right, guys.